Good morning, farmers. No time to waste. Going to get right to work today. As you know from watching last episode, we harvested those two fields of lupine. And now we need to go plow them and hopefully cultivate them also today. At least that's the plan. Any more mushrooms or strawberries in this little area? I thought I picked them all a couple days ago, but... Alright. Uh, how much fuel? Oh, 98% more than more than fine there. Alright, let's hook up this plow. Head right on down to the field, and we'll start on the small field first. So we, I always like to start the smaller one first because you get done with it a lot quicker and it makes it feel like you accomplish more for some reason. There's another one of our fields already grown with a canola in it. Looks like our lawn could use a good uh, bowing by the time the end of the year comes, but. I don't think I'll mow it again this year, because I think if you mow it the instant, the end of September, and I did this once, when April comes, I do believe the grass is just as tall. So yes, that field there, and this field right over here, we need to plow and cultivate today. At least that's my goal. As long as I don't get sidetracked. So yeah, in the last episode we got over 600k in the bank now. But when next spring comes and all these fields got canola, canola in them. Uh, I'm trying to remember how much money I got last time I did this. As I call it, the spring clean out. It was hard to keep track because I was also buying stuff at the same time as well. Yeah, if the patch ever comes where you can hire helpers, I will have to buy another one of the, the other one of these tractors. So the well, I would assume that the workers would use one of our equipment, and then I would have to use the other tractor to, like, if he's plowing to cultivate behind him, and or seed, and or fertilize, and or whatever. Because the smaller tractor that I bought, and I did keep for the wife. Uh. I don't want to say it's completely useless, but I just keep it around the yard to fast travel to the yard, to the house, and or to move some things around the yard. But as for transporting, like a full trailer or the slurry tanker, or the solid fertilizer, yeah, it just pushes that small tractor around. That small tractor, like I said, is used for either fast transport back to the farm. Or just to move or hook up like the slurry uh, tanker to the our storage and just fill the tanker that way. But we'll get this field done in no time, because this, this is a three-quarter hectare field. What is this field? Actually, it's almost a hectare. Okay.
thankfully coming up to the end of plowing the other field. Oh, I just love plowing so much. Alright, so what do we get done here? 98%, that's good enough. Good enough. Time to go park the plow for the year. Hey, it's only 12.30. So yeah, we'll definitely get uh, the fields cultivated today as well. And I'm not going to bother rushing trying to seed it and fertilize it in the same day and all that fun stuff. Like I said, we got a couple weeks to completely finish it, which is really like a couple days. Alright, bring it to the parking lot. Excuse me. Let's get the plow facing the correct way. So I place it down the wheels there. Alright, let's hook up this cultivator and get back to work. The texture inside the tractor is not too bad, but the mirrors definitely need work done on them. I mean, the side mirrors seem okay, but the rear rear mirror, not quite sure what's going on there. And there's a radio in, in the tractor, but uh, as far as I know, it doesn't work. Like uh, farming simulator. Unless I missed that, missed it in the patch notes somewhere. So as I'm sitting here making circles on this field and the evening approaches, I just keep wishing for a bigger cultivator. I did keep a little bit of track of time today because I was, I, I've always thought this but I never really looked at it. So I, I'm going to keep track of the time how long it takes to plow the two fields and then how much time it takes to cultivate the same two fields. So it took me six hours in game time to to plow these two fields and uh, I haven't checked the time in a while but with the sun going down I'm going to say it's going to take me maybe eight hours to cultivate these two fields and I do believe this tractor is powerful enough to, to haul behind it a better or a wider cultivator this is just taking way too much time So basically I started cultivating the first field at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Like I said, I'm guessing it's going to take us 8 hours, so maybe until 9 o'clock at night. Which should be 2100 hours. I'm just guessing, so I really don't know what time, what time it is this yet. I don't want to look until we get done. But either way really use a bigger cultivator or like I said before uh, another uh, seed drill that cultivates plus as it seeds so 
some may call it a direct drill. You can tell in the fall though, the night time does come a little bit earlier I think. Let's pop on the lights. Don't really need them but you know, they're there for a reason. We'll use them. But the good point of this all is we did plow and cultivate these two fields in one day. So that's... Before I was thinking I'll split it up and plow one day, cultivate the other. I said, eh, I could probably do it in one day. The combined of these two fields is only three hectares, so... Not too big, but big enough where I knew it was gonna, probably going to take all day to do it. Sure got the tractor dirty today. I do also when I was cultivating the other field. I want to go over and look at the other two fields adjacent to that, that field. Across from the bu building materials store. I want to see how much those fields go for. I don't plan on buying them this fall. Uh, I do like to wait till maybe other farmers seed them. Let them spend their money before I buy them. Plus, we just, I, if I bought them, we dip below back 600,000. Not think it matters, but it is nice to see the six to start with. We're looking at the five, you know, the 500s for a few months in the game. The next spring will probably zip right past seven into eight. And I'm expecting nine. I'm expecting me to get three hundred thousand dollars from these fields. Did I just say three hundred dollars? Three hundred thousand. Oh yeah, and it's euros as well. But you know what I mean. Just a little bit left. We just about call it a day after we go look at those two fields. I just want to see how much they go for and how big they are. I think one of the fields actually has lupine in them. That's ready to harvest. And we're at 100%. So yeah, it took me seven hours to uh, cultivate the two fields. And it took me six hours to plow them. But I want to go over and take a look at these two fields here. Because we're really not that far from the farm. definitely a plowed field. Uh, how much does this one go for? Just 11,000? Well, I tell you, it's one and a half hectares. It's just plowed, right? It's the, uh... Oh, I can't look at the field status because it's not my field. thought I could. And you gotta be careful. I don't wanna drive this field because there is crops in it. It is lupine. Oh, it's another small field, so I'm in a hectare. Yeah, so that's set just a little over seven. And I already forgot, was this uh, 11? So we'll just call it 12. And seven, so yeah, it's just under twenty thousand for both fields. Yeah, I'm not really too interested, maybe in this fall buying it, but maybe next year. 
We'll think about it. Actually, where we are... That's 1.29 hectares. Oops. If we ever do get the chance to... You know, be able to buy another harvester and all that duplicate ma machinery, I'd... I start messing with this stuff down here, just buy this whole clump here. Especially that field there, that... That's a lot of work for... <laughs> for a field, but, you know... It's all part of it. And if they ever do bring in uh, where you can hire helpers, you know, I definitely have, uh, I mean, if we so they have the same plow and cultivate, I definitely hire someone to plow and cultivate that for me. I do like cultivating, just that this implement is way too small for my, my liking for the fields. But let's go park this cultivator. Uh, we're fine on fuel. But we gotta bring the tractor down to the farm. We'll put it next to the seeder. Because to, tomorrow we'll be seeding the two fields. Then spreading solid fertilizer. And the last thing we'll do is start spreading some liquid manure on the fields. I'm not sure by the end of the year if the cows were produced enough to spray all the fields. But we'll see. Wife's in bed. All right, so we should be done with the cultivator this year. Unless I go crazy someday and decide just to buy those fields or something. Alright, let's go park the tractor, like I said, down by the cedar. Let's get it ready for the next day. Should be tomorrow. No rain for tomorrow, right? No, nope, no rain. Back her up. That's close enough. Dirty tractor. Why oh, can't I? Oh, I can't run because my food is low. I'll eat in the morning before we head off to work. Let's see how much slurry are we going to have? So, right now, I could probably do two fields. Maybe, maybe three. Don't know. Somewhere in there. So maybe, uh, 17th of September. Yeah, maybe we can get all five fields done. Because I, I keep forgetting they did, uh, up the production of the liquid slurry the cows, cows produce per day. But we need to get some rest so we can work tomorrow. And tomorrow's not going to be too bad. Seeding's not going to take too long. And spreading the uh, uh, solid fertilizer doesn't take that long, so. Yeah. Leaves don't taste that good. Yeah, I don't know. I just keep looking at my wife in that blanket. She looks pregnant when she's, <laughs> when she's sleeping. But when she gets out, she's not pregnant, so. I'm not sure. I am not sure. It will be interesting to see if she keeps staying like that until the end of September. And then when we fast forward to April 1st, see what happens. Who knows, we may just get someday and I, I may just like go down outside the house and there will be a kid running around. But anywho, that's going to do it for today on the farm. We got what we wanted to get done, which is plow those two fields and cultivate them, so... Yeah, we're just uh, just gotta seed them and then uh, we got you know two more weeks of uh, spread some liquid slurry, and then we're we'll ready for the spring for the big harvest. 
So, hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. And I shall see you in the next one. Have a good one.